This application note is on the measurement quantitatively of refractive index in the nano and micro regimes of materials and the forming of images of refractive index with such quantitative measurements. The systems contain a probe, a lens of a microscope that can be either an upright microscope or an inverted microscope, and a stage that depends upon the size of the sample that is going to be used. The probes have a completely free optical axis as is seen by the green arrow between the tip of the probe and the lens from above. This is the case even for high numerical aperture 100x objectives and it allows one to do reflection near field optical imaging without any obstruction of the rays of the reflected light. This slide shows imaging of a microchip as obtained by a near field optical probe working in reflection. One obtains both the topography and the correlated optical signal, and one can see that the optical signal even below surfaces can clearly be detected, and this is indicated by the signal underneath the silicon oxide overcoating, which is seen in the 3D topography. All of these images are it obtained by a point source, which is shown on the right of this slide. Another example of such imaging is the investigation of glass and the refractive index of glass in the micro and nano regions. Again, one obtains both the topography and the reflected signal, and as can be seen by the white arrows on the right-hand image, which is the reflected optical image, there are inhomogeneities in the refractive index which cause changes in the reflected signal. Obviously, different glasses have different distributions of refractive index, and this is a comparison of two different glasses showing the topography and the correlated optical image one of which shows definitive inhomogeneities in the refractive index, and the one in the bottom of the slide shows a nearly uniform distribution of reflection imaging, i.e. a uniform refractive index. The group of aristotic area in the paper by Kolgraf and Owens has shown that it is possible to use reflection imaging in order to determine quantitatively the refractive index in a nanometric or micrometric point along the surface. Basically, in this methodology, the AFM characteristic of the probe is brought into play and an accurate monitoring of the distance of the tip of the probe from the surface is correlated with the optical signal that interferes due to the fact that there is a surface reflection and a reflection from the tip of the probe. This can be shown at different wavelengths and in fact gives 
an accurate quantitative measurement at a point which can then be correlated with all other points in the image in terms of the relative reflection of the signal at different points. The technique can be used to measure a variety of different surfaces. Shown here is a fiber bundle which is measured as a result of this methodology of reflection and so on. And from the measurement, one sees on the left-hand side the topography of the bundle, and on the right-hand side the intensity of the image of the reflection at the fibers and surrounding the fibers. A 3D collage of the structure of this fiber bundle, which is shown in the background as the structure of the height that is varying, and the colors, which is the reflection signal, is shown on this slide. Similar data on the same fiber core is shown in this slide where the interferences as a function of distance of the probe from the surface are clearly seen. All nanonic systems can be integrated with Raman spectroscopy and using standard optics of an upright microscope one is able to correlate the Raman signal with the reflection ensemble, which is related to the refractive index. And therefore, one can combine knowledge about the chemical structure of the material as related to the refractive index. The nanonic systems can be combined with Raman either with the system itself being on the stage of a commercial Raman or can be integrated in a separate unit that allows one to keep the Raman stage clear for other measurements. Such measurements can, in fact, correlate both the refractive index and the topography with the distribution of specific Raman bands over the image. And this is what is seen in this slide for three different Raman bands of glass and the correlated AFM images if one wanted, one could in fact correlate this with the previous images of the reflection signal. This presentation has been focused on obtaining a quantitative measurements on the refractive index of materials at the nano and micro scale and forming such images of refractive index. Such a task has been impossible to achieve without the introduction of these technologies which now provide 
a wide variety of users to attain such quantitative refractive index imaging and measurements.